been in Capoeira? Almost six and a half years. Six and a half years. Now you're you're at a point, I don't want you to say I don't want my cord, but I know you're feeling it, I'm feeling it, we're both at the same level. So just explain as it gets closer. I know it's not about the cord, but just explain the honest feeling of, you know, you enjoyed the boxes out and everything, but now this yeah, but you know it was amazing, I enjoyed it. My feelings are numb. I don't feel anything. I have so much energy. Capoeira is what we love. If we do get a court, it's good for us. But we all work for that. If we don't get a court, we keep training, keep training, keep training, keep playing. And that's how I feel right now. I just want to go out there, play Capoeira, even if I don't get a court. So I don't care. And that's it. I just feel nervous because it's there. It's like it's right there. So that's it, man. Thank you. This is a moment shared by millions of capoeiristas and batizados all around the world. But before we go forward, let's touch on the past. Capoeira has been a legal sport practiced in Brazil since 1940. Before that time, capoeira was an art of the slums. An outlawed practice created and kept alive by the rebellious African slaves and their descendants in Brazil. Today, capoeira is a global culture practice in countries all around the world. Different races, economic classes, and religious backgrounds pack academies and holders, all to practice and celebrate the art of capoeira. Annually, Capoeira Academies host a Bachizado. A Bachizado is the biggest event of the year for a Capoeira Academy. And each year, the event attracts a migration of Capoeiristas from all over the world. Students, instructors, professors, and even recognized masters of the game journey to celebrate the art of Capoeira. They all come to connect with Capoeiristas, share their knowledge, and learn new things. Batizado for me is a celebration. Batizado means a big celebration. We are here to celebrate, really. It's a celebration. I came here to, to celebrate Capoeira. This is the, the biggest thing we do for the year. So um, this is where you, you build the excitement for the rest of your year. You build up the knowledge of, uh, of, and the energy from the different masters that have come. You take their workshops, you take their information, and you try to process that for the, through, the, through your training throughout the year. Bachezadas are also a time that Capoeiristas may receive a new ranking and a Capoeira nickname. So how many Bachezadas do you guys attend a year? <laughs> how many Bachezadas do you think you attend a year? Uh, Cap, I don't know a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> can't answer the question. I try to go to Bachi's out at least every other month. If I go every other month, I try to do two every other month. We can talk and philosophize about Bachi's Outers all day, but I'd rather show one to you. Let's go see firsthand what goes down at the Bachi's The Bachezada we're attending is hosted by one of the biggest Capoeira academies in Los Angeles, Capoeira Brazil, also known as CBLA. The event is five days starting on Tuesday and ending with the Bachezada ceremony on Sunday. Let's go enjoy the Ashe. second group and the third group is gonna play music and play capoeira so we you all gonna play a lot during the week okay 
So, because sometimes it's too much like workshop, then we don't have uh, time for all of you guys enjoying the hotel. So, from uh, from today until Saturday, end of Saturday, we're gonna have group A, group B, and three groups, and uh, one of them all, always is gonna be uh, in rotation, obviously, but uh, one of them is gonna be playing. Raised in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Senor Betisimus, or Mestre Boneco as he's known in the Capoeira world, is a world-renowned capoeirista and co-founder of Grupo Capoeira Brazil. He is also the head of the Capoeira Brazil Academy here in Los Angeles. Batizado is a ceremony, a ceremony uh, which is uh, kind of integrate the, the, the students and the high levels and the guests, and the, it's, it's kind of um, a community thing. When the the beginners uh, they they have opportunity to play with the high levels or, or masters from the same group or from the others or others group. So it's a it's a it's a ceremony that is a, it's almost a festival. It's nice. It's very, very good energy, and uh, we try to, to make our batizado here like a, a week, so the students uh, be able to, to test, to, to taste it, like the the workshop for the, the other high level, the other masters. It's I think is interesting for all of us. Não, a gente tá fazendo isso aqui, ó. Eu tô ligando, na própria gira aqui, ó. Tchum, eu tô ligando. Tchum, voltou. Quatro, um, dois, três, quatro. 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 É pra variar, eu vou tocar no seu pé de pé. Triathlon and the day of our Not good. <laughs> a Batizado isn't all fun and games for the attendees. It's also work for the people that organize and fight just to keep it together. They're going to shut down the 405. It's being called Carmageddon the sequel. There's our school right here. There's the triathlon right there. There's our school. And we have to get over here, up here, above that, somehow. Yeah, it's fun. To give a huge Warm, hot applause for one person who's been helping me a lot, Mrs. Oro! My capoeira name is Oru, and it means gold. And some people say it was named, you know, because of my hair, but I think it's because I'm precious. I run the event. I run a lot. I'm in charge of all the other committees, and I delegate. And I put out a lot of fires. I'm like a bachizado fireman, woman. I am part of many committees. I am officially, quote unquote, a part of the transportation committee. I'm driving all the masters around and I'm driving, you know, picking up people from the air airport and everything. But I'm also on backup for just about everything else. Um, because I'm, I, my first duty is, you know, being of service to the masters, uh, everybody else can count on me whenever I'm not doing that. But I'm on hand for them whenever they need it. And it's awesome because, you know, they're, they're a great crowd. Um, they're very friendly, they're very welcoming. 
um, they enjoy, you know, having the, 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 the younger guy to make fun of and, and, and to play jokes on and to, you know, toss around. And that's fun for me. It's a lot of learning for me. It's a great experience to be building that bond with them. So, wouldn't trade it for the world. Wouldn't trade it for a cord. <laughs> There are many committees that help the botches out at once moving. For example, teachers for the kids' workshops and events, and the exclusive cord committee. The cord committee assists the mestre with cutting, dyeing, and tying of the cords for the students to be promoted at the bachizado. All in all, the bachizado is a family affair. All the students of the academy come together and pitch in their time and expertise to help the bachizado run smoothly. <laughs> Because hotels are not in fashion in the Capoeira world, we also have the housing committee to orchestrate the huge slumber party that is Batizado week. We've got some guests in the house, a few drinks, some new tattoos, and most importantly, we have a chef who's making us some delicious Brazilian food in the kitchen. We have a huge pot of rice and a delicious Brazilian moqueca with lots of fish and shrimp and spices. Batizado is a celebration created for Messi Bimbi in 1938 and his academia. Before, in the past, he used uh, kind of uh, different uh, things, uh, I don't know, in English, uh, we say in Portuguese, a uh, lenço, put here, it was not a belt. Then, uh, during the celebration, the capoeirista uh, gets some uh, nickname, and then uh, his belt. Uh, nowadays, batizados also is the same celebration, but uh, where you can get together a lot of teachers, then there is a class, the, 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 the guests they will do for the students. Yeah. Then uh, became a little bit uh, big than the past. First thing, don't forget that this is an Afro-Brazilian martial art, martial art, and those are real kicks being thrown in the holder. Don't get me wrong, these people are very warm, very friendly, some of the nicest people you can meet. But at big batizados like this, you have hundreds of capoeiristas who come to play, and they come to play hard, and to really test themselves and their opponents. But no matter how rough it gets inside the holder, you have to be cool, maintain your game, and maintain respect for your opponent which is normally shown at the end of the game with a warm capoeira hug.
<laughs> oh, sorry. Part of the Batizada registration process is getting a new Capoeira t-shirt. In other martial arts, it's all about going to a tournament and winning a trophy. But in Capoeira, it's all about collecting t-shirts from all the Batizadas you've been to. This is from Ensenada, Tijuana Batizada. I was living in Boston and uh, as you can see, uh, it's Nestle Mal Branca. My first Batizada in Arizona in Tucson. To be honest with you, I don't even remember. This one is from the, uh, the seventh international uh, Bachezado, so this was seven years ago. This particular shirt uh, I got in Arizona, um, Professor uh, Trovan. Uh, it's like my brother in Capoeira. This Capoeira shirt yeah. was a story. Last year's Bachezado shirt in New York City, joined to, to see him. And this shirt, oh goodness, it's the Bachezado I think two years ago. So it was my second Bachezado. What court were you then? I was a yellow cord and I got my orange. This is a gift from Pimenta from Budapest. It's kind of dirty. Hey, I'm Maliki. I'm from Paris, especially from Nantea with Professor Faishka. And this t-shirt, I have this t-shirt because I was in Germany in the Shock Machizado. Uh, this shirt was actually uh, a couple years ago. One of our mistresses uh, passed away, Mr. Carlos Asituno. And uh, we decided to do a shirt that was a tribute to him. This, well, it's a Bachezado shirt from like several years ago. My newest year was the faded number of it, 2003. Which show? That Which show? show? Yeah. It was a Bachezado in France, in Strasbourg, from uh, Devan Ebano. This Capoeira shirt is representing my 100% commitment. <laughs> This year, uh, I have uh, some of the guests that I used to, uh, their brothers, like uh, Messi Monbranca, uh, I always uh, try to bring him here, or uh, Messi uh, Tony Vargas. But this year, we have a special guest that is uh, Messi Capixaba, the, the, this guy that I talk about, that we, we were colleagues and training, and I've been, I have been seeing him for 20, 23 years. So, it, it, may, it, may, it makes this special and also another brother of mine that I never brought in here never came to the United States a very important person in, in, in the Capoeira world is uh, Master Huki he's very well known and, uh, and I really like him good energy very good guy so I was able to we were able to, to bring them here so this makes uh, obviously all uh, other than the uh, the other very nice master that uh, we had opportunity to bring uh, that's the, the the strength of capoeira to reconnect uh, to reconnect uh, people and uh, to work as a community and uh, and uh, capoeira has that that ability as the workshops and holders continue throughout the week everyone finds time to reconnect with old friends as well as build new bonds with the ever-growing Capoeira family. Coelho from Mexico. I'm Jumanji. I'm from the Middle East. My name is Penda, and my Capoeira name is Fogo. I was born and raised in Senegal, in West Africa. You know where I'm from, and if you don't know, now you know. My name is Bo Chung. I was born in Hong Kong, and I'm from California, Bay Area. It's Nathan, my son. It's Chilozo. 28 days and come to the bad side too. Share they are sad though. Right now I am um, instructor of Capoeira Brazil in Shanghai. From as far back as I can remember, all of the graduados, the higher chords, had a tattoo. I also noticed that uh, Mesh Boneco has one, Mesh Peixe, Mesh Spiga. You know, I was always asking about, yo, what's going on? What does that mean? And uh, they've always had this tattoo because after they get to a certain point, capoeira is in their blood. And it's on the inside because the capoeira that they have is something that you put on the inside. You don't really show it outright. It's not one that's so flashy. You know, and it's got a left side close to your heart. So I always said, by the time I get to an instructor, graduate level, and at the time that seemed like forever, I said I'd do that too. The only tattoo I'd get. We have one more set of... Uh... Rolling workshops. So, uh, 
I, I just want to ask him what he wants to do. If uh, he wants the group A, the beginners, stay doing a little hardest, or uh, he's going to teach class. I think, I bet he's going to ask that he's going to teach class. O que você quer fazer? Você quer ensinar? I knew. <laughs> okay, so we're going to have one more hour of workshop, and then we're going to make a hot inside here. All right. Capoeira is a, it is a reflection of the Brazilian culture, but so interesting. Uh, each, each place Capoeira goes absorb a little bit of that culture. And then when you travel to Europe, you travel to France, Spain, Germany, each country have your own kind of capoeira, your own way to do capoeira, and then you go to Asia, and then you back to Brazil, and all this exchange together. It's really, really an uh, amazing way to be able to understand different cultures through capoeira. Quero ver picar, Los hermanos! <laughs> powerful martial art, it, it's like, I mean, tricky, I mean, tricky, very tricky, and uh, that's what, it, what I want you guys to understand. It's nice to play like, but this is not capoeira. Capoeira is this, that sometimes you don't see like a beautiful kicks, but it's very powerful and and a danger to play with <laughs> somebody like that. You know what I mean? That's Capoeira. Wednesday marks the ending of the first full day of workshops and holders. And though each day to follow will have the same format leading up to the hold at the end of the night, no two days are the same.
your name, sir? <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? My name is Structure Shigado. Sup, cop of Brazil, Los Angeles. Stringing a kid's bidding bow. Oh, yeah, you thought I was a giant, huh? Stringing a bidding bow. But no, it's small, it's extra small. Why do you go to Batizados? Why? Because of the beautiful people and so you can mess up your feet and get really sweaty. And not sleep at all, ever. Never sleep. Never sleep. Only dance. My name is Bombril. I'm from Houston, Texas. I train with uh, Professor Gringo. Everyone's exhausted trying to get ready for the next three hours. <laughs> Yeah. We finished up four hours in the morning and we got three hours to go. Everyone was trying to just like... It's three hours? It's like uh, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine. Okay. He's excited. <laughs> We're all getting to know people from other parts of the country, all the masters and just, it's a couple hours community. This is what, this is what it's all about. My name is Gisele and my nickname is Gisa Matraca because I talk too much. And Matraca is a bird in Brazil that makes a lot of noise. Anyway, I'm staying with Ama, Amazonas and Flamengo. And they are great persons and I've, I've, I've met them before because they went to Brazil a couple of years ago for a forum capoeira. Actually it was, I think, last year and we had a great time together there and now I'm retributing the, the visit and I'm having a great time with them too. Normally at a batizado, a batizado is really like a, um, like a convention and people come from all over the world, all over the states, so you have folks that that don't really have anywhere to go after the morning workshop, so they hang out here, they eat here, or they go grab something to eat, they come back, they take a nap. Somebody was joking like it's preschool, everybody laid out on the, on the gymnastics mats, just napping and ready for the next workshop. We started with workshops at 11 in the morning, and we went from 11 till about 2.30, and now we have evening workshops from six until nine. Here we go, let's go! So the thing is, today, we won't make a huddle with the instruments, I want to, the, 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 the beginners, the group A, uh, as the group B and the, and the C later on, just play like several different hotters over there, play a lot, play as much as you can, and then we're going to make one hot in here at the end, okay, with the instrument and the ashe. All right? So let's do it. Capoeira! 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 You know, each, each batizado have your own way to be because there are different people there. And those people make what capoeira is. You know, those people there together have a different energy. Some batizados are so full of them, so strong. For example, boneco is very well known because that. Bonecos have this strong energy, this strong charisma. You know, you can inside, you can feel it, you know, like in your skin. Other batizados is in your mind, the other batizados are about your soul, other batizados have different kind of energies, you know. And some batizados are about the technique, some batizados is about, some bits always something different. And depends on the people in that town, depends on the people in that community, in that school specifically. <laughs> Oh, I'll lose it.
Uh, so before we start the hot, uh, thanks, you got <laughs> yeah. I just want to say thanks for you guys. Oh, totally. for me, for me, have been some of, <clears throat> some of my students know how hard it is, and I'm trying my best. And, I'm, and I miss so much. I miss so much. <laughs> Sometimes people they they think that we have to move on. You have to do something else. Change. Change your way to, I totally understand all of this. But it's so, so, so hard I not be able to play and enjoy and, and, and just let it go. Because I've been doing that for more than, way more than half of my life. And, uh, and just in, in those days that, that I can't just, because of the energy, I, I was able just to not play, but at least move a little bit, which is for me, this right now is a blast, because I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And it's so hard. Just keep teaching every day, keep doing energy, just fill you guys up with energy, and not be able to play. It's so hard, I'm trying to deal with that. I've been years trying to deal with that. You know what I mean? And I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm doing pretty pretty good. But it's <laughs> The Hora was absolutely amazing. Watching Mestre get to play was um, really, really intense. I uh, feel honored to be able to head have a um, front row seat to all this, and um, it was it was an experience to be able to see all the different styles and all the different um, moves that <laughs> are not necessarily in uh, everyday horas. Um, so I'd say that I feel really honored to have uh, been able to see that. The energy is crazy in there, mate. It's just ridiculous seeing those Mestres play right from the old school. It's my second day here. I've played, I've met some, you know, played with and trained with like seven or eight different Mestres. I've met so many people I haven't seen before. And my body is just a complete wreck from all the workshops, all the time at the beach, everything. But I still love it. You know, my mind's enthusiastic, my body's dead. What are you looking for? What's that? What are you looking for? Fogel! Huh? I'm looking for Fogel. She asked for pizza and then she disappears. Where's Fogel? <laughs> She's right there. Fogel! Let's go find Fogel. Fogel, Fogel, Fogel. You asked for pizza and then he disappeared. Give me some money. Are you What's really going to tape this? He's taping the whole thing. It's very exciting. You want pizza too? You want what? You want pizza too? Pizza for tomorrow? Yeah. No, what's tomorrow? Friday. You're on Friday. camera, you can't say no. Fifteen dollars. Yeah, you can't say no, you're on camera. I'm not sure if I'll be able to go. That's ten. Hey, what's up, man? Yo, again, it's Tyrone again. Today was amazing, you know what I'm saying? We did our thing, got to see the Mestres play in the dark and like glow lights. That was like super like spiritual and everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm like real hype right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm so hype, I'm about to buy 15 of these pizza tickets and give them away, you know what I'm saying? I'm real hype. 
So yeah, signing off, man. Yes, yeah, keep posting. You know what I'm saying? I, uh, you know, I did. Thank you, man. You look really good. Thank you. Mr. Boneco, can I get a real quick? Huh? Real quick, just tell me how it feels like, you know, like, this is like the first time I've seen you play. So this is the first time many people have seen you play in a long time. Ah, okay, so I'm not really played. I just try to move myself just to to uh, massage my, my heart and my soul and my, and just, uh, just try to keep me in balance. I, I mean, I, I, I barely can play. I just try to move a little bit with my friends. And uh, it fills me. It, it recharges me. Recharge really recharges me. So that's that's how it's it is and uh, and how it, it it should be. Energy was always great. Hella good to see all of the Mestres play. Freaking inspirational. Fills you up for the entire year. What's your thoughts? The video. Oh, oh, it's, oh we're like hi. Uh, we're just feeling really grateful for the experience here. Yeah. Just. To be in this amazing energy and have all these incredible masteries and teachers and, and students too and have everybody together. Yeah, really emotional energy. It's insane. It's insane. It's just amazing. So grateful. The energy tonight was ridiculous, intense. Mr. Boneco, like, so from the heart. It's, it's really hard not to get swept up in his feeling. It's amazing. You know, it's gonna be sad when it's over, honestly. We'll all be, we'll all be exhausted and, and congratulating each other, but it's great to see all these, uh, these master days here um, with such awesome history to, uh, to share with us. So, I appreciate that. My voice is a little bit gone. Um, I'm excited for Batistado, though. But I'm sad that this is my last day until Sunday, so... Oh, why, what's up? I, I'm going, I go to school on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, yeah. So you had to miss... Yeah, I had to miss two whole days of the workshops, which seems like so much, but it's alright. At least I got two days. What's the word? What's the scoop for today? The word is today uh, we, we start... Wait, again, again. <laughs> I'm just thinking about drills. That's all I think the whole yeah, day. Yeah, so talk about it. That's all I've been thinking. Talk and about it. I had dreams last night. All of, all the dreams was um, workshops. So every dream I was dreaming about workshops. I was constantly doing moves and this and that. And I woke up exhausted because I was working out my dreams. So now I'm ready. Not really. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. But I have to pretend. I have to be like. It's time, let's go. Energy. Yeah. But you know how that goes. Yeah. You got a little bit of pain here. Yeah. A little, little bit of pain here, a little bit of pain there. Mm -hmm. And you're good. Some icy hot, tiger balm, Advil, you're good to go. That's Batizada. That's Batizada. I, I've been teaching every day and, uh, and I'm putting a lot of energy, a lot of effort in, uh, in, uh, in Capoeira and my, in my students, but uh, I, I barely can play. Because my hips just bother me a lot, and I had a, a back surgery, which is I find I'm, I'm fine on my back, but my hips just really, really, really bothers me. So for me, it's really hard, and I, and I, and I, I just, I just played that day because of the energy. You know what I mean? And that's uh, what makes me like uh, uh, moving on, because that that little uh, time, the momentum. That makes uh, it's it's a really a hundred percent. It's a plain, plain, plain momentous. Like it's full of energy, and uh, you you don't control yourself. I mean, I don't know. I I try to play. I don't know if I play, but I, at least I try try to move with that, with my friends, which is for me it's it's very important because it's r rare right now. And uh, if not if not. Uh, uh, if the, the energy is not there, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to play. And uh, that's, uh, it's, it's, it's hard for me because I've been doing that for 40 years, man. And uh, not be able to play, it's like a, the, the worst like a pain that you, the human can, can, can feel it. Because that's, that's my passion, that's what I live for. Uh, you know what I mean? And uh, not be able to play. I, I know that's a lot of... <laughs> I'm. I, I don't want to be dramatic. It's a lot of things worse than that. But for me, I'm a passion man. I, I, I live through, through the passion. 
And one of my passion is, is capoeira. Capoeira is my life. And not be able to play, and that's what feeds me, you know what I mean? Makes me strong to, to, to live my life. It's, it's really hard. And I think was, uh, that, that moment was, was part of that, was the relief from my, from my heart. Just as in any other sport or physical activity, injury is part of the game. It affects us all in different ways and in different stages of our capital lives, but it is part of the game. I have carpal tunnel in my right wrist, so no training, I can't put any weight on it. And I've tried to play without going down on my hands. <laughs> it's kind of impossible. So I have to sit this one out. Oh well, I'm here to help. <laughs> well, this is the first bachizado that I'm actually not participating in because I broke my, my leg, so I am, I guess there you go. <laughs> So I will be doing a lot more watching and helping and kind of behind the scenes stuff and uh, trying to absorb through photos and videos and, and notes and enjoying myself but not actually getting to train. It's kind of sad, but that's okay. I could stay at home where I should be with my leg up, but it's good being here. I get to see friends and, and, and mestres who I've trained with before that I'd like to see again. And it's just worth being here and being around that community. And even though I can't be in class and doing a jing or doing a takedown, doing a kick, I can still watch and absorb and be part of the community and make it through other, other, other means. I went on hiatus because I hurt my knee. But I'm trying to be participatory as far as helping out over here. So I can't stay away. Because even if I can't, Play, I feel like I need to see it. I need, I need the energy um, of it. You know, that's why I still show up to Juarez. Um, and I gotta keep the mind, you know, still active even if my body can't do it. So, I love it. Well, it's not like that. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> he doesn't know how to do it. He gotta go up to go down. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. As the Sunday Bachizado nears, the students all feel the excitement and are preparing for the big event. Some of the show's performers are tightening up the steps for the ceremony's exhibitions, while others are mentally preparing for the excitement that comes with a possible promotion. Tell the people where you came from to get here and what is why you came to Bat why you go to Bachizados like this. Uh, oh <laughs> Uh, here, uh, <laughs> 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 wait, 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 uh, 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 <laughs> Friday marks the halfway point to Sunday's Bachizado, and many Capodistas begin to think, even though they might not say it out loud, they are wondering if they will be promoted this year. Oh yeah, my next step in Capoeira will be hopefully graduating, getting another cord, hopefully. But uh, you know, if not, it's all part of it, you just got to keep going and keep struggling and keep fighting hard. If I don't graduate, I ain't gonna cry here, but I'll cry at home. <laughs> no, don't nah. post that, man. No. <laughs> no, no, and it's. <laughs> <laughs> if he doesn't graduate, he's gonna call me and be pissed. <laughs> yeah, I always call Pavon when I don't graduate. 
Capoeira is to a lot of us just a lifelong activity. So everyone's at their own in their own path, and you can't really think about board because it's just some people are going to get it quicker, um, and some people are going to get it slower, and it's just it's part of life. My name is Kalongo from LA, Capoeira Brazil, CBLA, Messi Boneco, represent. I've been training in Capoeira for about 13 years. The meaning of the bachizado for me has changed this year. Last, the last few years it was about, you know, training really hard, learning new stuff, but working towards getting, trying to get that promotion. And this year it has become more of a, sorry, I keep looking away. Uh, this year the bachizado has become more of just trying to soak in as much knowledge and get, listening about concepts and less about movements and just trying to soak it in and enjoy being around all these wonderful visitors and the great mestres that have come from all over the world. For me, initially, Bajazado was just this big kind of question mark. You know, I knew a lot of people came in from out of town. I, I knew it was a lot of exciting energy. I knew I wanted to get that next level cord up, you know, and um, I, it was all about the um, being promoted, you know, but you know, I went through a lot of growth, a lot of growing pains related to that where, you know, there was times where I thought, oh, I was ready for, you know, a promotion and I didn't get it. And then I, even next time I didn't get it. And so what that did was it helped me focus on myself as far as just being the best capoeirista that I can be and developing my game and being the best that I can be and not worrying about what level I was or what anybody else was doing or who, who else got promoted. And now I feel like, you know, for me, I don't even think about it. Like, I don't care about the cord at all. You know, for me, it's really about just developing and being the best that I can be, pushing my body, doing the best that I can, you know, being the best person that I can be, and, you know, just letting it flow from there. Because, you know, no matter what level you are, you can always learn from somebody. You know, I can learn from a white cord as much as a white cord can learn from me. You know, we're learning different things, but it's, it doesn't really matter in the mix of things. And that's, that's what I think, it's my opinion on it. Bati Zalos is not about you getting that court. It's about you learning and uh, meeting all the masters and meeting people from all over the world. I mean, to me now, Batizados is about exchange. It's not about getting the cord. I really don't care, honestly. If I don't get a cord, I'm still Alongado and I'm still gonna play uh, uh, Forte Lute, strong. I believe I said that correctly. Video. During the downtime of the event, with the energy they have left, that is, the guests rush to take in the sights of the city. And every night there's something new to see, and most importantly, somewhere new to eat. With the Batizada ceremony less than 24 hours away, Saturday's workshops and holders at the academy only go till noon. It's a day with mixed emotions because this is the last day the visitors will be at the academy, but the anticipation and excitement of the Batizada to come is on the minds of everyone.
Shea is through the roof, and after the last game is played today, the party will continue. After this street performance, the party continued through the night. It's always a surprise. I don't, I don't, I don't tell who, and who's gonna get the, the, the promote, who's gonna be promoted or not. It's it's a, uh, it's a, it's a, actually it's the worst part of the batizada for me, just to choose who's gonna be uh, there because I always think that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna be unfair, and uh, it's it's the worst part for me. I wish I have just uh, push everybody to the black belt and that's it, but it doesn't it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. And, but you guys are gonna have a good surprise. Right in there! Watch this out on 2012! Right here, right here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Soon enough, I will be able to train and be a part of this again. <laughs> 
What's going on here, LA? Oh uh, man, a little, uh, little fatigue, but uh, you know the energy and ice shape makes this thing all worthwhile. A little karma getting, uh, a little challenges this morning, but glad to be here all the same. This guy's in the movie. Not a gun. Can I have a gun? How many years have you been training Capoeira? Uh, Thirteen years. Like, what, what was the feeling, the expectations of the first one compared to this one? I feel like um, there's a lot more excitement, sadly to say. My first one, I didn't know what to expect. So I know I know the format, so it's like, you know, now for me it's like a family gathering. It's like, get to see everyone, get their cords, and hang out and see old friends. Or in the past it was about more about me, what, what's going to happen when I get my cord, what's up? And now it's more like about everyone else. What's going on, sir? Where you running? What's happening? Right now we're just setting things up, getting it all ready to, to uh, get going. Make sure the instruments are right uh, and the stage is set. So, you know, it's a full production. Uh, this is uh, showtime. That's it. <laughs> Yo, this one, man. What about so? Yeah. If your boy, right. boy, right. boy says something like this, <laughs> you ain't doing something yeah. right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You know, East Coast, West Coast. These people are liars. Right. Liars. They're liars. <laughs> Don't do the same. <laughs> What's the bar right here? What is that? It's numbing your septic acid. It'll numb your throat. Oh. It's gonna be good. All right. Pulling. I got this one too. All right. Marginal. Yeah, these are hot, man. I like the green on black. Who's on the? Um, well, did, did you go with the speaker? So what's the cheap one? Chaos. Mad chaos. Love it. All botches out of. Yes. We have people in these seats here. It's only the front row for the mess trays. So. Don't sit back there, we want, we want you to be part of the energy, so everybody just move on down, wash your together, get cozy. Come on down. Hey, come on down, baby. Thank you. Ah, man. <laughs> My name is Maromba, a.k.a. Amiri Miss Bay. I came here to, to celebrate Capoeira, man. That's bottom line. This guy over here sitting, has the audacity to show up, sit in the front rows, Wait, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was I was instructed to say here. I was going up there. Been good. So far been good, yeah. And today's my birthday. So when's your birthday holder? Oh, wow. What are you talking about? I don't have a birthday holder. Cut, cut, cut. I'm stretching. Yeah. You got right. any predictions for the day? <laughs> Anybody got any predictions for the day? Hell no. Hell no. It's gonna rain. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. That's my prediction. It's gonna be a snowstorm. Awesome. Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be 96 degrees. Uh, sunny. That's my prediction. 96 degrees and sunny. The day of the Bachezado ceremony is very exciting for various reasons. Everyone is proud of the beginners who will be getting their first chords, but there are very deep emotions tied to the high level teachers and instructors rumored to be receiving a promotion this year. The students and Capoeira family all feel the butterflies. But even with my best efforts, it was hard to get anyone to voice their feelings or predictions. What about you? There are some predictions, but I'm going to keep it in my head. Oh, no, 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 First of all, scream if y'all can't understand me. But I have four predictions. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. It's four. That's all I care about right now. The four that everyone is buzzing about this year are four of Capoeira Brazil's high-level instructors. After many years of teaching and building their own academies, this is the year that everyone believes they will be promoted to the Purple Court rank of professor. Oh, I hope I get my cord. I hope uh, this time I get my blue cord. This time I get and my red blue. And then you don't. And then you're crying. You don't want to. You want to go to your bachi salad crying. So no. Not you, don't, a good thing. you don't talk about it ahead of time. <laughs> you are blessed with your cord. You are not. You um. You're not. You're not passing a test. You know what I mean. Your test is your work throughout the year. So it's uh. So you want to. Do your best throughout your year and play and train like you're not thinking about a reward. You know what I'm saying? You should be thinking about the journey and not the the uh, uh, the reward at the end. So I think that's why 
we will all tell you that uh, we're, we're not getting a cord this year. Are you prepared, sir? Is everything cool? Everything's cool. So we are about to start it. How does it feel at this moment? You know, this is this is a, a moment that you've lived, you know, countless amount of times right before the bachelor starts. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's the the natural process. So we had a we had a, lo a long week, and uh, now we're gonna finalize. We're gonna finish with like a uh, in Brazil we say chave de ouro. It's like gold key. We're gonna finalize with the gold. We're gonna finish with the gold key. So, is this something that you kind of prepare for as well, mentally? Yes, because that's the the, the worst part for me, just to analyze who's gonna upgrade or not. And I don't like that. I'd 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 love to have all, all of uh, I'd love I'd love I'd love to push all of them, but it doesn't work like that. So, obviously, uh, those who not going up, they're gonna be kind of kind of pissed with me, but uh, it's normal, but it's, it's, I don't like that, because, you know what I mean, it's hard, it's, for me, it's, it's the worst part in Capoeira, it's the time that I have to, to choose who's gonna go over there, and who's gonna upgrade a little bit, and who, who won, I don't like that at all, it's, it's hard, but you have to do what you have to do, right? Bachizado begins as a very, very joyous celebration as we see the beginners receive their chords and play with the high levels. Feeling great, I got my yellow cord, I didn't expect that. I'm excited. Right. There's been a lot more challenges coming up, but hopefully one day a blue or a green. I'm very excited, even though I keep getting these short ass chords. <laughs> it keeps in with my five feet tall personality. <laughs> are running fast which is great because a lot of time the the energy is is good but it's so long that the audience is tired and this time it's perfect I'm really happy about that so it's gonna be going great <laughs> 
Uh, okay, uh, I gotta go because the Hula Girls are gonna go on. It's going really well, and I'm really proud of our students. And now, for another performance by the beautiful ladies of CBLA, put your hands together for Iko Le Maui, my, a modern Hula depiction of the love of the Black Pearl. Performance is a good example of how a Capoeira Academy celebrates the cultures of the students that make up the academy. every year in Kapwada, which is unlike any other martial art, you know what I mean? There, there's other martial arts that have little kids that are black belts and, and third, fourth, fifth degree. We only have one system, 11 cords in the whole system, and that's it. So um, with that comes a lot more time in between those cords, and it's a lot more subjective. It's a lot more about how much work you do in the community, a lot more about how much you train, how much, uh, where your heart is at, um, uh, your own mentality. So uh, cords are given to different people at different times. It's not, everybody doesn't get one every year, and, uh, and that makes it special. As we approach the higher cords, the emotions begin to rise. My feelings are numb. I don't feel anything. I have so much energy. Capoeira is what we love. If we do get a cord, it's good for us. But we all work for that. If we don't get a cord, we keep training, keep training, keep training, keep playing. And that's how I feel right now. I just want to go out there, play Capoeira, even if I don't get a cord. So I don't care. And that's it. I just feel nervous because it's there. It's like right there. Uh, that's it, man. Thank you. Style, but 
you all need to have your own identity because this is the most important thing. And uh, those are the gentlemen that's gonna move up. And we have one more. It's Quebrado! Capoeira is a martial art that contains fighting, dancing, and singing elements. It also contains a strong family element that is as essential to the art as any other part of it. This is Onyo Heal. I'm here at the Batazado 2012, 14th annual. Capoeira to me is love. Love. With my injury especially, that right there meant a lot to me because the tremendous support that I've gotten from everyone. I love you all. Thank you so much. Your kind words, your messages. Coming to visit me at the hospital. It's all love. I'll never forget you all. Love you and Capoeira is my heart. For sure. Tisu! Alongado! struggle for this. I mean, this was not easy. So the ones that's out there that don't have it yet, just you know, I mean, work hard, put your heart into it, and uh, be brave. These emotions, I mean, they're hard to they're hard to explain because these are real deep emotions. 
And um, when you're seeing your friends get a new cord and you're seeing other friends don't get a cord and, you, and you're in the background, these emotions are, they're hard, you can't explain. These, you can't put them in words. Even though Mestre Boneco never let the word out, the Capoeira community was right about their four instructors being promoted to their purple cords this year. what I want and I'm for sure that, uh, that that's what uh, all of those gentlemen here who, lives, who, who teach capoeira deserve and, and, and want to have uh, the, the, the disciples, the students just growing and live through our art. Obviously that we don't have, it's a in per percentage, it's a few of them that's going to choose to go in this path. But, uh, and then we need to really uh, push for those who decide to live on this. It's a, it's a hard journey, it's a wonderful journey, but it's really hard. It's not easy at all. You know what I mean? Congratulations. family, my wife, my kids, my students, and uh, I'm, I think I'm, I'm not think, I'm sure I'm blessed. I'm blessed because all my students, like 99.99% of my students, they are really, really nice persons. <laughs> yeah, and this, no, I'm serious. And uh, this is very, and this is very important. If they are not nice persons, at least we try to push them to become <laughs> nice. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. After the last chord is given, everyone takes a moment to breathe and take it all in. Purple rain. No words right now. I gotta find my mom. That's the only thing. Thank you, Mr. Bunaco. Now I have to go say hi to my mom. Tell us how you feel now to be, you know, a professor. 
was good. It was great. Like Master said, it's that long road. Long road. And just as this event comes to an end, the carnival style celebration begins. Yo, you want to say something? You about to go back to New York? Say some peace. I'm sorry. I, obviously, I said it more than enough. My voice is completely gone. You know, you want? I'll be back next year. How about that? <laughs> Man, that tell, telling you the truth, the day after the battle is the best day because you just uh, it's done. You know what I mean? And then you relieve and uh, and you because it's so stressful. It, you you want to everything just go smooth, yeah, everything just perfect. But until this happen, it's like a stress. It's like like tiring. It's very. And then once once happen, then you you be able to breathe. You know what I mean? And then you have like you miss because it's gone, but. At the same time, it's kind of dual, dual feelings because it's good because everything went, went good and the, people just left and okay, now I'm going to just rest a little bit. But yes, but I think it's, it's uh, also um, a feeling that uh, you did right. I mean, the, the homework was, was, was done right. I hope you enjoyed your week in Los Angeles and learned a little bit about Bachizados and the Capoeira community. The event means different things to different people at the different stages of our Capoeira lives. But we all come together to share our own unique points of view and celebrate the art of Capoeira. And you're in luck because as this Bachizado ends, there is another one about to start somewhere closer than you may think. You'll see some of the same faces and many new faces. Some of this style, some of that style, but know that everyone who arrives with ashe and respect is welcome at the Bachizado.